Boston Dynamics Sweet Robot Handle, SpaceX plans on flying two people around the moon, Uber fires an exec for undisclosed harassment, and more. It's Monday, February 27th, and this is Crunch Report. What up, guys? Can you believe those Oscars last night? That's kind of that's kind of crazy. My jaw was literally agape. So agape. Anyway, here's some tech news. Whenever SpaceX has news, it's a pretty exciting day. SpaceX has announced that it is going to send two people on a journey around the moon. The two people have already been picked, and SpaceX says they paid a significant but undisclosed amount for the privilege. The identities of the two space travelers was left unannounced. SpaceX notes that training will begin later this year and that they'll say more about who it is once the health tests are cleared. Who's it going to be? I don't know. Today, Mozilla announced that it has acquired the Save for Later reading app Pocket. Pocket to date had received funding totaling $14.5 million. Last year, Pocket announced the details of its plan to make money. Essentially, a content recommendation service that serves sponsored pieces to people whom the company determines would be interested in them. It's proven modestly successful, and Mozilla has no plan to fix what ain't broken. In a comment, Mozilla legal officer Danelle Dixon said that Mozilla will be conducting a full audit of the pocket code soon to look for any license encumbrances or other obstacles to open sourcing, yet they declined to give any timeline of when that would happen. Terms of the deal were not disclosed. The punches are starting to add up for Uber. It's to the point we're summarizing all the ongoing regulatory turmoil, allegations of sexual harassment, and executive drama is just too much to cover in a short show like this. But needless to say, if you've been following Crunch Report, there's a lot of stuff happening. The one thing you need during a time like this is solid leadership. And regardless of what you think of Kalanick, things are not going too hot. Uber said goodbye to its SVP of engineering, Amit Singhal, today after the company learned that he had failed to disclose a sexual harassment allegation against him while at Google. So how did Uber learn of Singhal's post? Turns out Recode brought it to their attention. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. On one hand, good on Uber for taking quick action, assuming there's no details being left out of this one. But on the other hand, it's getting harder for the unicorn to argue that it has a world-class culture. SVP of engineering is no joke. Now the company has to both reestablish the direction of its technical teams and continue to address issues of culture and harassment. We did know that things would have to get worse before they got better, and somehow, I still think there's a lot more to come here. Rumor has it, your next trip to a WeWork might come with a bottled water bath, a money chino, and a signed blank convertible note notepads. The co-working space is reportedly inching closer to a $4 billion investment deal from SoftBank. Yeah, you heard that right, $4 billion with a big old B. Now, before you get too excited, the reality is that the company's valuation really isn't expected to increase by that much. With the new capital, WeWork would be only worth an additional $3 billion, moving to 20 from $17 billion. The deal would be broken into a $2 billion round with a secondary of at least a billion that could become two. It's this structure that prevents it from being a down round. Oof. Still, let's hope they kill the expanding part so they can keep it up to the right and drink gin and tonics on Costa del Sol. Boston Dynamics has over the years made some cool robots. Check out this beauty. The new video shows us how Handle Boston Dynamics' latest robot can operate in tough environments, on hills, in the snow, and over uneven terrain. It's able to do this with a height of six and a half feet. That surpasses that of most human on wheels. It can move at a chipper nine miles per hour and manage four foot vertical jumps. I like robots. Roomba, Johnny Five, R2D2, and now Handle. So many robots, which one's your favorite? They're all my favorite. I like, I like vacuum robots. <laughs> That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hams. The Crunch Report is every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And guys, we'll see you tomorrow.